People living on Ocracoke Island dealing with incredibly high water after Hurricane Dorian. People who did not evacuate say even the high spots on the island did not seem safe from the storm surge. With the water invading the first floors of many homes and mm. businesses. Earlier today, we spoke to the owner of the Ocracoke Current, Sunday Horn. I know that people are experiencing the highest flooding that anyone can remember in living memory. You know, we had a serious flood in Alex, Hurricane Alex in 04, and also in Hurricane Matthew. This is much worse. One friend of mine who lives out in the Oyster Creek area of Ocracoke on a canal says that the, the water came up about three feet in 30 minutes. It was really fast. The main reason that people always stay on the island when they do for hurricanes is because getting back home can be so hard. If the roads are out and the ferries aren't running, you're just sitting on the mainland worrying about what's happening at home. Now, the only way to get to Ocracoke is by ferry. The state is making sure the channels there are clear to see what ferries may, and that's a big may, be able to run tomorrow.